All right, uh, we're back. We're back in Elite League Deluxe after after not participating since round number four. And well, uh, a lot of things have happened um, uh, between my personal life, but nothing nothing bad happened in my personal life, fortunately. But yeah, I was outside of my house for ten days. Uh, round number five, they didn't need me. Round number six uh, and seven as well, I wasn't available. After that, uh, there were mid-season negotiations. Um, I could get into full-time, uh, into full-time driver, uh, and I got into Haas. Uh, unfortunately, I lost two more races. Round number eight and nine, um, because I was still outside my house, and on Thursday I. I returned to my house, so yeah. Fortunately, I didn't miss more races, and we're back in round ten for Brazil. Uh, unfortunately, I haven't done much practice in this circuit because um, I was outside my house for a few hours, and in those hours, I wanted to use them as as a practice for this race. But well, unfortunately, I I just had to outside my house but uh, fortunately I I was I was in my house at the time they they started the race so yeah at least I didn't lose another race because I was still outside my house but well um, we're back and hope we can make uh, good results and I hope we can make uh, better results uh, I think into like top five maybe onto the podium but uh, podium uh, is not my expectations because um, Esteban will participate and Toscano will participate which is my teammate Tamal will be and these three drivers are very good Esteban I I know he's fast because of the THR Ragnarok trainings and Toscano he is fast as well, as you could see in the races of this league. And tomorrow, you know, if you have been following me since season six of Elite League Racing Cup, you are knowing that he is very fast. But well, I'm I'm changing topic because we are about to begin. Well, I wouldn't say we're about to begin because we have already begun our very first flying lap of this session. Uh, we are heading into turn four. Uh, unfortunately, I haven't done some practice as I as I've said a few seconds ago also expect me to be so slow uh, into these corners um, sector 2 uh, well to be honest I was just uh, using a little bit of my muscle memory since F122 but uh, it is not a reliable one because um, on this game uh, the cars have more downforce and also um, the engine torque is different than the last game, so um, I don't have to rely too much on on my muscle memory from the previous game. So uh, fortunately, it wasn't too slow, but still, I I knew it is going to be improvable the lap. But um, yeah, I need to I need to be really confident, and also um, I have to know really. Uh, really really good about the circuit in, in a short amount of time and so I mean like seconds uh, or maybe just like two laps but um, well we're just entering the pit lane and we're just uh, we're just getting prepared for my second flying lap which is going to be with our used sets of soft tires because we just chose the band set of tire location uh, yeah, I was I was a little bit insecure about about the race strategy. I decided to just uh, do you know what? I just decided to just use two sets of mediums instead of having to get one of them. And as you can see in my in lap, I just set my second my second sector as the fastest one. But uh, I know it wasn't going to be the lap end. Well, unfortunately, Toscano is also entering the pits, and he is entering at, at the front. Uh, well, 
I just said very poorly that that thing. I have to say that he is in front of me. In front of me. I was referring to the front. In front of me. And yeah, as you can see, um, yeah, I just, I just have to wait like half a minute, maybe a minute even, but uh, it's not very bad unless it is like three minutes to go or something like that, but uh, it is 12 minutes to go, so um, we, we still have some spare time, but um, still we don't have to relax too much because um, time comes fast and, and you know when I just forgot what to say unfortunately on my second flying lap uh, this up fight expecting not improving my lap time because the times I'm using are used ones um, I have to deal with a lot of traffic and that made me lose way more time because of the dirt here the cars were generating who were right in front of me and I think none of them were doing a flying lap or maybe they were just in their end lap uh, well just one um, the Alfa Romeo of Isa Costa uh, was in the flying lap and as you could see I just set the fastest sector 3 and also I just uh, left my rear brakes into turn 1 but it wasn't much of that to deal with because I have already done that lap and still it was just ruined the, that lap because of the dirty area and also well because of that thing because I was trying to use that lap as my practice lap although it won't work much of that thing because uh, these are worn out tires the soft side used on my first lap but well at least I can practice for something but yeah we'll just enter the pit lane wait until the two minute mark and set our new soft tires and hope we can set a better lap time and not do these mistakes we just do every single well almost every single last lap in qualifying and if you have been watching those videos, you know what I'm saying, but hope you can understand that. Alright, so we're about to begin our third and final lap of the qualifying session. And as you can see, we just dropped all the way down to P12. So if we don't improve or we just follow that lap, we'll be qualifying in that place. And, and I think 12 drivers are still in the qualifying session and because some drivers have been retired from the session such as Godly and I just saw some footage and and he just crashed with this Esteban and and well I'll show you where where did he crash but meanwhile I'm now improving by a tenth of a second and we're heading into sector 2 I think we didn't get some limits and we're heading into the corner where Godly and Esteban crashed and well to be honest um, Godly might be under investigation because that that's not good and that's well not good it's not a word I have to use that thing but instead not appropriate and and maybe he'll be sanctioned but meanwhile we're about to end this lap and we just got distracted by that incident but we are about to end this lap with a lap time of 108.669 which puts us into 8th position and well um, it wasn't a qualifying um, a qualifying place I wanted to to be but to be honest um, these drivers who qualified better than me are faster than me so I shouldn't I shouldn't consider this qualifying as a bad one because to be honest I just did my best and and these drivers are faster than me so uh, it was a decent qualifying although 
to my standards that shouldn't be a decent one but well hope you have paused that video like 10 seconds ago so you could see the qualifying results because we're only showing the top 4 team of the qualifying section but still um, Toscano out qualified me uh, he qualified third place and he beat me by almost 4 tenths of a second and sent to cut pole position following by Tamal and Roddy well the Williams driver the ARS driver qualified fourth position and we're seeing a lot of THRs there four of them no five of them now including me and well hope we can get a good race but before that let's just head into a pre-race strategy so here is the pre-race strategy uh, I'll start the race from medium tires although the AI chose me as default to start with hard tires but uh, I'm just seeing that the rain is going to hit in like lap 22 or 23 so I decided to just gamble it and start on mediums and this might mean a lot of tiger at the end of this stint but I'm hoping there will be there will be safety cars so that means that I'll use those mediums less aggressive although well, yeah I'll, I'll still have to be careful because because of of the tire wear and also just in case there's no safety car and also I need to be a little bit conservative but it is because of the fuel I just want to fuel a little bit because it's going to rain but still I didn't want to fuel much just in case I was going too aggressive and and I have to fight four positions instead of having on my conservative way in the race so well let's just begin the proper race because you know in this league there's no formation lap and well I just said that seconds earlier but we are heading to the race and the fight with lights will begin for my first race since like 10 days and the race is about to be started and it's lights out and we're on the way we just get a first start Esteban and we just overtook him and we were up 8 to 7 place I decided to just be careful to turn 1 and the virtual safety car got deployed uh, fortunately um, not a lot of chaos happened when the virtual safety car deployed and on this time it was reasonable the reason they deployed the safety car uh, at the start of the race I watched at the mini map that there was a uh, a small incident in in the start finish straight but uh, it wasn't too big and we are still in the race so uh, it wasn't a lot of of a big incident but well virtual safety car and well that means that that we're using less fuel and that means that I can use now more fuel and I have to worry less about the fuel uh, fuel management so let's just wait until the virtual safety car ends and here it is it's now ending and let's just let's just catch the field because we're too far away and now it has ended and we're getting into Jun Sao and uh, Jun Sao wow I just I just forgot where Jun Sao was I thought I thought it was in that proper corner but well let me just let me just check um, later on but well we're now into lap 2 and we're seeing that we're nearby darking and we almost been but well uh, hope we can get up a few places just like we did with this one uh, at the start of the race but well let's just maintain that 7th place also let's just uh, conserve our fuel because uh, it could be a case that there's no safety car and we're still in the negative field but we're getting to turn 6 and we're seeing that Darkin was trying to overtake Sento and well I just cut off guard because I wasn't uh, expecting that incident but we're seeing that Sento has got karma and he's um, lost the car although he didn't properly spin but um, he's dropped out of the order and we're up it B5 in just 
the second lap we were from seventh place all the way up to fifth but unfortunately uh, that fifth place won't last long because Esteban is less than one second um, behind us and he'll get DRS although in this lap, lap 3 it is now enabled so fifth place my fifth place is in danger and well I'll probably lose that place but I won't keep up at that place and well I just checked the map and in that proper corner I just said it was Junso it was Junso so well I'm not I'm not ashamed so I'm not ashamed I would be ashamed if if I just said that uh, in the wrong corner but well fortunately I didn't say that wrong but yeah I wasn't much sure about it so um, yeah I'm not, I'm not feeling great about that thing but uh, we're now into into the end of sector 2 and we're still in the fifth place but but the gap between this and myself is still 0 0.5 five seconds and he'll get the RS and I'm sure here he's just going to overtake me very easily he'll get very uh, very good straight and into lap 4 he's overtaking me well he's not now he has overtaken me and I tried to keep him fight but unfortunately he, he's got turn 1 too good and well we're dropped down to 6th place but still it wasn't a lot of bad thing but uh, still can we just still get the RS into the main straight well let's just find out into the end of this lap but uh, meanwhile we're just trying to be less than a second behind him in order to still maintain the RS and not drop a lot of places although so the arc mm, won't be a threat for me because the gap between myself and him is not increasing in fact it is decreasing um well uh, I I just want the words and we're seeing that a driver has retired and it was the McLaren driver who has retired from the race and Emmy has also retired from the race so um, now we have two retirements in less than 10 seconds and well we just still got DRS and we are entering lap 5 but I'm not feeling that I'll still have DRS and at the end of the lap but well let's just let's just maintain that gap but uh, we're seeing that Zodiac isn't a threat for us so we're safe in 6th place but let's just maintain that place and hope we can overtake well we overtake Esteban for 5th place we're ending lap 5 and we're seeing that we got DRS in the main straight and we're entering lap 6 and I'm expecting to to maintain that gap with this time myself but unfortunately I just spawn exiting turn 2 and that meant that I lost all of that uh, all of that maintainment all of that gap with Esteban and myself but um, fortunately the good news was that I didn't lose any place but um, that means that we're just in front of Zodiac but um, we're seeing that Darking is out of the race although he has retired from the pit lane so um, it won't cause a safety car so uh, we're just still going in this race but uh, what I was going to say is that um, Zodiac as I said earlier isn't a threat for us so uh, that P6 is still safe even though with that spin so uh, let's just maintain that place until the until the pit stop so um, maybe we can we can have chances to fight for a few places maybe but um, if not well, let's just maintain that place and hope we can finish in that place Later on, we're into lap 7 and heading into the Zero Lago. We're seeing that the Nastar Martin has stopped, and that meant that the safety car has been deployed, although he hasn't retired from the race. So, could this safety car be a fixed one? 
was the driver planning to make a safety car in this lap but well um, that thing is for another video meanwhile we're just we're just in the decision uh, between staying out or boxing for another set of mediums and well I got I just checked um, I just told the engineer when it was going to rain but he said it was going to rain between 10 and 15 minutes but um, I decided to stay out and at one point I I wanted even to box for sub tires but well uh, the decision has been made I'm going to stay out so let's just um, catch the safety car and get into the punching up field so meanwhile let's just heat up our tires until the safety car ends but we were picking lap 9 and while we were heating up our tires it's just while we're seeing that someone has period in the dots and we are dropping down to P10 and no oh, way that, that was just a terrible a terrible terrible thing for me and I thought I thought uh, on Hydra Racing League in, in Spain those incidents um, during the safety cars would be would be the last time I would I would have those incidents during the safety car but uh, we're seeing that this happened to us in the very next race I have participated which is in this race and we just dropped four races and and despite that the driver who rear-ended me um, forgive me and he apologized me although I I just wanted to try to talk him after the race but um, I just forgot that I I have to talk to him but well I think I I well I needed I didn't need to talk to him I would just without apology I just accept and that that's just it uh, meanwhile we're just we're just still waiting until the safety car ends, but uh, a bit angry because um, that rear end that that dragged me down to the place. But well, it could be worse. I could I could be into the barriers. Uh, I just it just took me a lot of time to to decide which words I was going to say. But uh, now I've had those words. But um, well, let's just head until the end of the safety car. And here we are into the end of lap 10 and we're seeing that we're uh, heating up the tires in an aggressive manner but I uh, hope this doesn't affect too much about the tire wear but we're ending the period of the safety car and we're seeing that the target has rear-ended us and once again I just kept rear-ended and at the same period of the safety car and unfortunately I just crashed into the wall damaging my front wing and that meant that I have to box for a new front wing and well despite that I decided to just box for sub tires and and I was just hoping that the raid came in like lap 18, 19, 20 and well hope hope this this rain comes in those laps or else I'll get off the cliff and we're seeing that on target has retired from the race or maybe oh yeah we we're seeing that he has retired from the race I was going to say that he he's got crashed and got terminal damage but we we're seeing that he just retired from the race and and we're last place that's just that's just a pretty bad safety car and I don't think we will we'll catch the field I don't think we'll catch the field unless they spin but it seems very unlikely but yeah I was just very angry about that thing but well at least I can have chances to overtake his Acosta and we're seeing that the Ferrari is traveling into the main straight ending lap 11 and well uh, from out down uh, you'll see me suffer um, in last place for like a few laps but um, I was just wondering if 
if if that we are ending didn't happen, I would be fighting for a lot of places, maybe to the top six, top five. But well, hope hope there's another safety car in, and I can get back to the field. And we're entering lap 15, and we're seeing that Bernie and Isakosa are fighting for P14, and we're seeing that Bernie goes back, and we also spin. I don't know why we have spun, and this fight goes I don't know what I was thinking. I just pressed the throttle too much. I don't know why was that thing, but <sighs> yeah, that made me way angrier, and that meant that we're still in last place. That's just terrible. That was extremely terrible. And yeah, I, I, I'm just ashamed that I have done those mistakes. Um, well, I mean this mistake, but ah, oh, man, I just, oh, man, I, I have wished I, I didn't have done those things. But uh, meanwhile, we're seeing that rain is starting to fall, and we're seeing that my teammate Toscano has returned from the race, and that deployed another safety car and well uh, rain is beginning to fall and that means that I decided to box for intermediate tires because I knew according to the weather forecast in the previous strategy rain may get worse so I decided to gamble it as well as burning and we're going to box for intermediate tires and hope this gamble gets worth it and if that gamble gets worth it this means that the rain was getting way worse um, but unfortunately that gamble in reality didn't turn into a gamble because on the very next lap um, almost every driver or maybe every single driver uh, that haven't boxed for intermediates Hot box for intermediate because the rain got obviously worse for them and uh, they just notice it so they just they just box for uh, intermediate tires and that means that in reality it was just a normal pit stop from slick to wet tires so yeah I was a bit disappointed but still uh, the build got punched up so that means that we will still have chances to fight four points even though we're in last place. Alright, so uh, the wait until the safety car and has been ended at the end of lap 18. The reason we're in P11 and not in last place because four drivers have boxed, although it seems good for me because they have boxed for intermediates, or that's what I think, but uh, meanwhile, uh, we're ready for racing again. And we're heading into turn one and hope we can get it cleanly and that's the thing we've done that thing and hope we can overtake Bernie and get up into the points and we're seeing into the Corazol struggling with the again again just be joking man another crash involving Bernie and myself <sighs> you cannot do this to me and even worse he just damaged my front wing and I was infuriating I was just very angry and and I was just wishing I had to retire from the race <sighs> but still I couldn't because uh, I was just hoping uh, that five more drivers retired from the race and wishing that Bernie has just retired. Okay, well, I wouldn't say retired, more like crashed into the tire barrier and then they deploy another safety car. Karma for him. Karma. Karma. This is what happens if you just crash with me. You just get distracted and then you just deploy another safety car. Thank you, Bernie. Thank you, Bernie, for for all that thing. 
Oh, hope I can just come back for more points. And hope I don't get lap, but uh, fortunately that won't be the case. So at least I'm not that angry. I'm not I'm not very angry, too angry that I would just rage quit. No, I, I didn't get at that point, although um, I have reached at that point in, in a few races ago. Uh, for example, in Mexico back in Elite Racing Cup in Season 5, but uh, that was just months ago, nearly a year ago, so um, I won't do that mistake again. And, well, hope I, I don't DNF, because it's going to be a pretty hard condition to race because I come and practice in rain and because time trial decided to remove um, the rain in that mode that made me that made me a little bit limited with the with the rain running and and I didn't know which setup to use in the rain and well fortunately uh, I could get into the bunch dot field at the end of the safety car in lap 21 and uh, but unfortunately I was too far away from them uh, I just got too far away but um, I wouldn't take it as a bad new because uh, just to be a little bit cautious but into turn 1 I just lock a little bit my rear brakes and we're seeing that the McLaren has just been strolling into Curva Sol and I was just trying to overtake him around the outside, although he just got a little bit of snap of oversteer, and I almost, almost spun and crashed with him. But well, um, it wasn't too close. But uh, the fourth safety car has been deployed. The fourth. Uh, I think this this race is now getting a uh, turn into a joke. We have now reached the maximum amount of safety cars we have in a 50% race. Four safety cars. And it is because Antic Moss has retired from the race and I think he spun and crashed into the barriers exiting the Cielo Lago. Uh, he's gone wide into turn four. I overtook him. Um, as you could see, like 30 seconds earlier, but the fourth safety car has been deployed, um, which meant that racing has been stopped. And to be honest, that was a joke of a race, back to back joke races. And yeah, I'm not, I'm not happy about the race I got, but yeah, I was. I was a little bit frustrated about the, about the issue that I got involved in the previous laps and that made my comeback race into a bad race but uh, we have uh, we have another third to go so uh, all can happen so uh, we can come back a lot of places so uh, we don't have to be sad in the race so uh, the only thing we we care about is the race result, so um, we just need to come back and grab a few points. So let's just wait until the safety car ends. Meanwhile, let's just uh, maintain the optimal temperature, which is easier to do in intermediates than on six tires because uh, the optimal temperature is way less than on the slicks. So um, we don't have to heat up in an aggressive manner. And well, that wait uh, that the safety car ends is ending on lap 24. We're prepared with now our heated up tires, and um, just like the other safety cars, uh, the other safety car relaunches, uh, I was too far away from the field. And we're seeing that the incident happening in turn one uh, involving Tamal Godley and Isa Costa, and it's he got disqualified from the session, and that means that we're up into the points for the first time since the first safety car. Uh, no, I don't 
think it was the first time, instead it was way later, but uh, I don't remember exactly which lap was, but uh, we're just focusing on the present lap 25, and we were about to overtake the Slick Pop, and we're up, it be 9 what an amazing overtake I've done, and to him, uh, into turn 8, and we're seeing that Godly is down into last place, and Mal is out of the points, and we're seeing that Churrasco is trying to uh, to still maintain his 8th place and meanwhile I just lost my rear tires and well fortunately I didn't spin but we're getting into the main straight ending lap 25 and we're seeing that was Cliff Pop what the hell is he doing what the hell was he doing he oh, oh. What the hell? I don't know what was he doing, but he just... Why? Why did he here ended me? That was just... That was just a joke of a race. And unfortunately, there are not going to be more safety cars because... Uh, we just reached the maximum amount of safety cars and we're uh, fighting with Godly, but unfortunately, I can't do this thing! And... Oh! That, that is very bad. We just locked our rear brakes into turn 4 and we just gone wide. That is just a terrible thing and we're just locking up the brakes once again. What's happening to our brakes? I don't know but I'm just very angry and the slick pop has retired from the race and that meant that I'm once again in last place but not anymore because Sentu has gone extremely bad and we are back into the points well at least we are into last place and we're still in the race but man I could be in a higher position have not been because the slick pop had rear ended me I don't know he got a lot of the track I don't know why he didn't use much of that thing but well, let's just begin with our great comeback and hope this great comeback it is great. We are turn lap 29 and we catch Scott Lee and we're exiting turn 2 and we're seeing that Scott Lee has lost the car a little bit and he's gone into the outside saving the car but it was a much time loss enough that I overtook him and we're up into P9 of the 10 runners now because Sentu has retired from the race so we started with 20 cars and half of them are still surviving until uh, today we're ooh, uh, we just break into that corner and we just locked with style because I was just drifting and we're seeing that Esteban is also struggling with these conditions and we're heading uh, into the corner before Jun Sao and heading to Jun Sao we're seeing that Esteban and Guerrero were making a fight until until it died when Esteban just spun and well he's dropped down to last place so yeah it pulled him but yeah it was it was a terrible race for him now, but uh, we're beginning lap 30 and into turn 1 um, we're trying to catch Guerrero and Esteban has fought to retire from the race and we are now 9 runners 9 runners what a joke of a race that is a joke Ah oh, man, but still not too jokey because I'm still able to fight for a few positions and uh, meanwhile I'm trying to overtake Guerrero and well I'm just waiting for that opportunity and meanwhile we have catch a little bit with Guerrero but um, the, the time I'll overtake him uh, will be in another time and not now. Uh, maybe it will be next lap, but hope it is uh, in this race uh, and that overtake uh, still gives me time 
to overtake Zodiac, but uh, yeah, I just made contact with him and well, we're beginning lap 31 and the fight for 7th position is on, although I will win it because he has 6 seconds of penalty accumulated and we just locked our rear brakes and we just cut the corner, but um, yeah, I wasn't a little bit of a of a great thing locking up the brakes and drifting in that manner because I just lost a little bit of time and two I just I cut the corner got a warning but uh, fortunately I it was my first warning of the race so uh, nothing to worry about it uh, for now but uh, I was going to say that Guerrero has six seconds of penalties accumulated so I only need to be less than six seconds behind him in order to to get 7th place but we're seeing that Guerrero is struggling a little bit but uh, getting into Pico do Pato uh, let's see how much is the gap and meanwhile uh, we're struggling uh, with the brakes and the gap has now reduced into less than a second and if it was on dry conditions I would have DRS but it is rain and we just gone wide and the 5 4 7th place uh, physically is still on and we are five laps to go and we are heading into that lap and now into turn one uh, I just modified the brake bias all the way to 57% in order to not get too much uh, rear uh, brake locks and, and that means that I'll be way more confident with the braking and in turn 4 as you could see um, I'm not locking the rear brakes anymore because of the brake bias movement and we are getting into turn 6 and 7 and hope we can overtake Guerrero into the next few corners and we're seeing that the gap is now reducing a lot and we're seeing that there might be a gap and I'm planning to overtake him into Pico Pato. The gap is too small. And we see that. <sighs> yeah, I just. Yeah, I just made contact with him, made him pain, and he's out of, out of the order. And yeah, I just won the fight, but in an unfair manner. But uh, for now, uh, I might be under investigation. But well, let's see after the race. But. I'm sure that I won't, uh, I won't be under investigation after that incident, but, well, uh, let's just try to catch Zodiac and overtake him and hope we can finish P6 and, ironically, P6 will be the best result I'll ever finish in this season. And, well, hope this is the best result and, well, let's just or take Zodiac in the next few laps and hope we can maintain that position and on the very next lap uh, we're still in that gap and I'm trying um, to to find opportunities to overtake Zodiac but we just made contact into turn 8 but um, he he didn't spin so everything is fine and into the pick of Pato I tried to dive bomb him this time it was clean and we are up into P6 uh, winning the fight in, an, in a fair manner not an unfair one like I did with Guerrero and this one it was fair and we are up into P6 and hope that's the place we are about to finish and we are heading into the final lap of the race we are about to cross the line to finish 6th position uh, meanwhile, we're celebrating, and unfortunately, we are celebrating too early, and we just crashed into the wall, destroying our front left suspension. And unfortunately, despite crossing the line in sixth position, the game considered it as a DNF. That was an unfortunate thing, and <sighs> I. I'm just very ashamed that I've done that thing. That that was the worst, the worst return I've ever done in racing. 
the worst return race and despite that all of those things we've done we all just finished last well not finished classified last place well at least at least we just got two points but I want to do that thing again I want to do that thing again that'll be the last time I'll do this mistake that was very ridiculous and that was a joke of a race and yeah I was very angry for like three hours maybe four hours but yeah, I'm still, I'm still angry about the race, and and I want, and I want that the time passes in, and and I and I want that, and it gets one tip to say, so I can race once again and get the better result than this thing. So, well, see you in the next race, and well, have a nice day. Goodbye.